Hey guys, Rob here. Welcome back to Glidal Tech. Today is part two of my Making a Mandalorian series where I, you know, make a Mandalorian costume. Alright guys, like I said, today is part two of the Making a Mandalorian series, and today is all about the Flak Fest. Now, for those of you who don't know, um, a Flak Fest is an essential part of a Mandalorian costume. It's essentially the vest portion that goes over the flight suit that the chest armor and back armor attaches to. Sometimes the uh, shoulder armor also attaches if you have the sleeves, uh, if you have little sleeves built onto the Flak Fest itself. Um, but I need this part because it needs to be a rigid, um, while still flexible structure that I can attach the armor to. The armor isn't heavy, but it is, um, we don't want it to sag, we want it to hold itself in the right position. So I've got the, um, the upper neck armor piece, the two um, side armor pieces, and the belly armor, and also, like I said, the back armor that's going to be attached to the flak vest. Um, like I said, there's some flak vests have sleeves on them that you t can attach the armor plating to. I'm going to choose not to have the uh, sleeves on my flak vest just because I prefer the look of the clean cut flak vest and the sleeves attached to the flight suit itself. Um, that being said, my flak vest is going to be made out of duck canvas. I'm actually going to be doing a double layered duck canvas thing just to give it a bit more um, sturdiness. And then the plan is to sew um, Velcro onto the flak vest that the armor can then attach to. Um, I have footage that you're going to see in just a minute of me putting together the flak vest, you know, basically creating the pattern, cutting out um, the pieces, sewing them together, putting it all together, and then all the process I've went through of making it look nice and making it look like an actual flak vest that fits. Um, but yeah, like I said, that being said, let's dive right into the video and I'll show you what I got. Okay, so essentially what I did for this pattern is take a just random t-shirt I have and then trace a general outline around on the uh, fabric to make something that looked generally like the front part of the vest. Um, yeah, I, so I did cut out two pieces of this thing, and then for the front part of the vest, which you'll see in just a moment or two, um, you don't actually see me tracing out the pattern for that, um, but essentially I took the same pattern I used for the back and extended the upper portions, um, make them a bit longer so they can fold over my shoulders, and then I extended the side portions so they could wrap around and velcro to the front, or the back as it ended up being. When you see me put the um, pieces onto the front and the back, that's me measuring out how far over the shoulders need to fold, so that way they can connect to the front in the right, um, the right place and whatnot. I mark that with a uh, sharpie, and then you'll see me sew the pieces together by lining up the back piece with the front piece by that line. And then it's on to sewing.
At this point, the front and back pieces have been sewn together, and I did that a second time for a second layer, and now I'm going to sew the first and second layers together to create a double layered piece. Here I'm taking the flak vest which I intentionally created the patterns to be a bit longer than they should be and I'm trimming off the excess at the bottom to get it to the right length that I want it at. As with the total length of the flak vest, I also made the sides of the flaps that are going to fold around and velcro the front to the back. Um, I made those a little longer than they should be, so I'm trimming those down as well. Then of course, after I've trimmed the sides and the bottom, I need to re-sew the two layers together along the sides and bottom, so I'm doing that.
This is a test fit to see if everything's in the right place that I want it to be. And then I'll start work on putting on the Velcro in the right spots. With the Velcro stuck onto the flaps, I need to put on the flak vest now and fold the flaps around to the front so I can stick the Velcro in the right spot on the front of the vest. Then I can sew the Velcro down so it'll be permanent. Alright, there we go. That is my flak fest, um, and I have it right here. Um, as you can tell, I did not put any Velcro onto the thing in the video, primarily because the Velcro that I had was stick-on Velcro, and when I tried attaching it to the front here, you may be able to see the spot right, yeah, you can see that right around here, where I did try to sew the Velcro on there, but because it was stick-on Velcro, the um, adhesive, the glue on the back of the Velcro that stuck it down to here, um, would jam up my needle and cause the thread to keep coming loose and breaking off and so that was real hassle so um, I have ordered some what is it some just sew on basic sew on velcro that does not have the adhesive backing that I can then therefore use um, to sew the um, velcro onto this but that is going to be a project for another day um, but yeah, so this is the flak vest. It has the velcro on both sides here that allow the sides to attach to the front or the, the sides to attach to the back, rather. Um, to attach the entire thing, to put on the entire thing, um, I have the Velcro on both sides, but if I disconnect both sides of Velcro, I found it is really difficult to attach them both. It's possible, but it's difficult when I'm doing it by myself. So if I'm alone and I'm putting on everything, I take off this one side of Velcro, basically open the side up, stick my arm and my head into the entire piece, make sure it's situated right, and then I can reach around back here and feel for where the Velcro is and attach it there. And so you can see, very easy to put on. Um, it fits really well. I like how this thing turned out. It's pretty rigid. It's still flexible enough that I can move around just fine. 
But um, it's rigid enough that w when I put the armor on there, it won't the armor won't sag like it would if I used regular cloth. Uh, not regular cloth, like regular cotton uh, fabric. But yeah, I'm really happy with this. It took a little longer than I was expecting, um, and I had some challenges I was not um, prepared for initially. Uh, mainly one of those was the hemming of the entire thing. Initially I thought that I could just leave it unhemmed, and I did not like the look of that. Um, after I got it all together, so I had to hem it after I've already sewn up a lot of this and um, that presented a bit of a challenge in folding it all over, especially since I did not leave much room between the edges of the Velcro and the uh, the end of the piece is a fabric here because, um, well, you know, when I'm not intending on hemming it, I put it on the edge there. So um, that was a bit of a challenge, but I got it all done and I really like how it looks in actuality. I can show you here. I basically folded over everything. Uh, this is not on camera because I totally uh, forgot to film while I was doing that. I basically just took the edges and folded it over to the back and then ran the sewing machine along it. And it gave it a nice looking edge. Um, the edges won't fray, I won't have strings coming off all the time, and it looks like it's a you know, nice looking piece. I'm really happy with how this turned out and when I put it on over my flight suit, it matches really well and I, I get the color scheme that I was looking for. Um, I was hoping to have this video um, where I could have all the Velcro sewn onto the flak vest where I could actually attach the um, unpainted armor pieces, but a lot fell through. I actually had to recut the neck piece because with um, the flak, uh, flak vest actually on, the neck piece did not sit right exactly the way I was hoping it would. Um, so I had to recut it into a different, uh, different size, make it a little longer on the edges. Um, but I'll show you guys all that when I go to paint everything. Um, yeah, so I didn't get everything done that I wanted to in terms of attaching the armor in this video, but I did get the flak vest done, which is the biggest part of the video that I really wanted to address. Um, but yeah, that's about all I have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you check a look over here, you can see part one of my Making a Mandalorian where I talk about the armor and the, um, the flight suit. And then down below you can see my DIY um, full metal lightsaber that I built. Um, that was a fun project. I'd like to revisit it at some point in the future, but um, I'll look at that another day. As always, please subscribe if you want to see more content, and I'll see you all in the next one.